Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is entrance exam questions, ratio, and proportion. These are the frequently asked questions. Number one, if 1 over x equals 1 over 5 or 1 fifth, what is x? Very simple. The answer is you have three seconds, one, two, and three. The answer is five, because this is one over x and this is one. So x is equal to five. So let us say I give you one over a equals one over six. What is the value of a? Obviously, a is six, because they have the same numerator. Next, problem number two. If 6x equals 7y, what is x over y? Letter A, 6 over 7. Letter B, 7 over 6. Letter C, 67. Letter D, 6.7. Now, how do you solve this? x over y equals blank. Okay. You have here 6x. Remember, this is 6x. What do you multiply to x to make it 6x? 6. 6 times x will give you 6x. What do you multiply to y to make it 7y? 7. 7 times y is 7y equals 6 times x is 6x. Repeat. 6 times x is 6x equals 7 times y or y times 7 is 7 months. So the answer is 7 over 6, letter B. Proceed to problem number 3. If x over 2 equals 3 fourths, what is x? Letter A, 3 halves. Letter B, 2 thirds. Letter C, 1 third. And letter D, 3. Now, if you're solving problems like this, all you have to do is to cross multiply. It's the easiest. So, Cross this, you have 4x equal cross multiply 2 times 3. Take note that I did not multiply this yet because I'm going to use cancellation later. Then to isolate x, divide both sides by 4 there. So you can now cancel 4 and 4 here. You're left with x equals, take a look at the numbers here. What can you simplify? 2 and 4. They are both div divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then multiply all the numbers left in the numerator. 1 times 3 is 3 over 2. There. So that makes our answer 3 halves. And this is letter A. Now, problem number four. If one half equals five over x plus two, what is the value of x? So in this problem, you do cross multiplication again. Multiply this. So x plus two is equal to, multiply this, 10. Then isolate x on one side, transpose two to the other side. So x is equal to 10 minus 2. x is equal to 10 minus 2 is 8. So the correct answer is letter C. Sometimes in an entrance exam, they give you three variables, x, y, and z. What will you do? So if x equals 2 over x, equals y over 55, equals 12 over 66, equals z over 2, what are the values of x, y, and z? Now, take one ratio here, 2 over x to solve for x. Equate it to a ratio with no variable, but you have to simplify this. Let us simplify it here. 12 over 66, it will be giving us 1. Take note that 12 
and 66 are both divisible by 6. 12 divided by 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2, 66 divided by 6 is 11. So this is 2 over 11. Equated with this, 2 over 11, then cross multiply, x times 2 is 2x equals 2 times 11 is 22. Then isolate x, divide by 2 on both sides. Cancel 2. x is equal to 22 over 2 is 11. There. Now, to solve for y, copy this. y over 55 and equate it with 2 over 11, which is the simplified value of 12 over 66, 2 over 11, cross, multiply, 11 times y is 11y, equals 55 times 2. Okay? To isolate y again, divide 11 to both sides of the equation, then cancel 11, we get y is equal to 55 divided by 11 gives us a 5. This is 11 by 11 is 1. Then 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. So y is equal to 10. So how do we solve for z? Again, let's copy this ratio z over 2. We can equate it with the simplified value of 12 over 6 there. Cross multiply, we have 11z or 11 times z equals 2 times 2 is 4. To isolate z again, divide both sides by 11 there. We can cancel 11 and 11, we get here z is equal to 4 over 11. Can we still simplify 4 over 11? Not anymore. So there we have our answers, x equals 11, y equals 10, and z equals 4 over 11. I hope I was of help to you. Before we end, let us remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. God bless you all.